G'day my friends, this is Marty Wee here for the Marty's Garden Show. Thanks for coming to watch this show because I really didn't think I was going to be making one for a while. I just got back from a trip from Malaysia, so I had to go away a bit of R&R due to this teticulitis, teticulitis, whatever they call it, like involuntary movement of the neck, which I believe was caused from the hit the surfboard in the head. Anyway, um, I've seen some doctors, some Chinese herbalists and things, and I'm getting some help and it's getting a little bit better every day. But when I was away, I made an amazing discovery of the torch flower. Yes, it's in the ginger family, and it's used in traditional Malay cooking and in some Asian dishes as well. I trust it may be used in Thailand in certain foods, and it has this amazing flavour. Now, when I was going to pick up some uh, materials, not some materials, some food and stuff from the markets, this really nice guy who was our taxi driver stopped us off to eat some traditional Malay food wrapped in banana leaves and these sticks that was used cooked with this flour. And that's how I found out about it. And I saw it in this German lady's garden. And I asked her, I said, hey, do you mind if I take a photo of this flour? I said, is that a ginger flour? And she goes, yes, this is the torch flour. And I've gone, you beauty, I've got to show this to everyone. Because it's such an amazing flour and it has a beautiful scent. And really, it's something that you just don't see every day. And if you ever get a chance to uh, visit Malaysia, I request that you ask for something that involves cooking with the torch flour or the ginger flour or just get some traditional Malay food. Now, if you live in the tropics, you'll be able to grow this plant if you can access it. Or in the subtropics, uh, you could grow it in, and then bring it into a greenhouse into the winter or have it in a very hot spot where it doesn't get any cool breezes and things, and I'm sure it will grow just fine. It's a beautiful looking plant. And anyway, I just wanted to show you this plant because, um, you know, I just wanted to let you know that I haven't disappeared. I'm still around. I'm still going to be teaching you more about growing lots of food in urban places and small spaces. I'm not working on getting the next fixed, and uh, I'm not going anywhere, guys. I'm still there for you. I love you all. Thank you all so much for all, for subscribing and becoming a part of Marty's Garden. And we'll see you in the next video real soon where we teach you more about growing food at home. Have a great day. Happy gardening. And see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.